Good evening and welcome to a very quick video on how to use the BK467 CRT Restorer Analyzer. My guinea pig for this exercise is going to be this absolutely stunning B&O 7702, a 22-inch set. It's one of my absolute favourite uh, TV sets. It's using a green label, I think. It's got a green label on it. A56540X tube. First thing you need to do is to cross-reference your tube. You can see there, A56540X using connector or socket type 21, which is plugged in. And we are using a heater voltage of 6.3 volts. So the first thing that I need to do is to set leaving it turned off just to set my heater voltage to the 47 marker I then hit setup and I gently increase the voltage on the heater so it hits six point three which is there And see it's brought the heaters up on the tube let's knock it down a touch nope that's actually fine so we then need to bring up the G1 voltage so we set that to 50 volts which is there and the next thing we need to do make sure all of these are down is to set the cutoff so it says you need to go up to one division, which is oh, there, no, nope. there on red. Oh, there, whoa, there on green. And there for blue. So now we're going to test emissions. So we go to test. And we have got a really healthy tube. This is a very healthy tube. It's in good shape, it would seem. You can see all the heaters in there glowing away quite merrily. Quite a nice looking little assembly in there as well. So if I press the life button, this will basically, I think this gives me a, I think it's a leak down test. But as I understand it, if I press the life button, that tells me how good the CRT actually is. So if those go down slowly, which they're doing, and then we have a very good CRT. And there we go. If any of these ones are lit, then we have problems within the tube that cannot be rectified. If we press the focus, um, I had a problem with this unit earlier, so I had it apart to fix something. Uh, I got these two the wrong way round, so if I press focus, it should say OK. So it should be that one that lights, but it's actually this one that gets lit instead. But if you look at that, we have a really good sturdy tube. I mean, it is in excellent shape. Anyway, so we'll just power this down. And let the heaters dry off. Or go off, rather. And that'll be that. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more upcoming fascinating hobbies. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.